actually woke up with my emotions all over the place and I can actually see that my, my, my bump is bumping. It's such a cute bump for 20 weeks, I think. I think my baby was very, very cooperative. Do something to help, you know, the baby to position itself in a way that it will be possible for the sonographer to have the scan done. Another exciting part about the anomaly scan is that you get to know the gender of your baby, which is so exciting, right? until you set me free. My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me As I came out of my mama womb God gave me a dream so I could do what my peers wouldn't do God gave me ambition so I wouldn't get complacent God Hey guys, welcome back to my channel My name is Naku Alute, a Ghanaian YouTuber and a first time mom to be sharing my pregnancy journey with you guys and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me for my anomaly scan or my anatomy scan which is also commonly known as the 20 week scan and so if this sounds like something you are interested in then stick and stay till the end of this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family if you are not yet subscribed to the channel hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel um so today is a big day i actually woke up with my emotions all over the place but I'm actually grateful for today. Um, so I'm having my anomaly scan or my anatomy scan today. Um, we are 20 weeks and so I'm having my 20 weeks anomaly scan today. And I'm so excited and grateful for this day because we are, you know, halfway through the journey and like, I don't know, I'm just so excited to, to, to be here. I'm so excited for this day i'm so excited to go see you know how well my baby is developing so yeah i'll be taking you guys um through today for my anomaly scan um my appointment is for 9 20 and so i had to wake up very early today to get ready and then you know go get that done because i'm so excited about it and so i don't think you're allowed to like film whilst they are doing the scan so maybe we can't you know have that but after i come back from the hospital i will let you guys in on you know my experience and how everything went and what to expect if you are you know about to go have your anomaly scan as well and so um i was actually instructed not to eat um six hours prior to the scan being taken and so after i had dinner last night that was it like i'm not i'm not going to have anything this morning before i go to the hospital and i was also told to drink um a liter or one and a half liters of water 45 minutes prior to the scan and i don't think that should be a problem at all because uh this trimester in particular like in my second trimester right i have been drinking a lot of water like i'm not the type of person who drinks water like that like before i got pregnant i would only like drink water drink water when i'm eating or like about to eat or maybe like i'm working out and that's when like i drink a lot of water but then like on a regular day no but then since I got into my second trimester I've been drinking a lot of water like I always have water beside me if you've been watching like my vlogs um, from when I was pregnant like in, I, I know I hadn't like really announced that I was pregnant at that time but then if you've been watching my vlogs you would see that there was this particular period where even when I'm driving, I'm drinking water. That was like me in my second trimester, and so I was drinking a lot of water. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. 
but she's somebody else in the maid. And I literally drink like um sometimes three to six bottles of this, you know, a week this size in a day. And so that shouldn't be a problem at all. I'm supposed to drink a liter or one and a half liters of water for five minutes before the scan. So yeah, I'm just about to get ready to leave the house and I would let you guys know how my whole, you know, anomaly scan goes, my experience and what to expect if you're about to have yours as well, like I said. So before I even go, uh, let me just quickly do this. So an anomaly scan, also sometimes called the anatomy scan, is a 20 week ultrasound or a level 2 ultrasound which elevates the anatomic structures of the fetus, placenta and maternal pelvic organs. This scan is important and common component of routine parental care. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today and I also read somewhere else that the, an the anatomy scan or the anomaly scan is usually taken between um, 18 to 22 weeks of pregnancy. So it's, it's actually done in your second trimester. And another thing that I'm so excited about today is the fact that um, they'll be able to, you know, confirm the gender of the baby. However, I don't want to know yet. Like both of us, myself and my husband, we don't want to know yet because we want to have a gender review. And so, yeah, my scenographer would, you know, check the gender of the baby. However, he would not disclose it to me. So um, it will be sealed in an envelope and I'll go give it to a family friend who is helping us, you know plan the gender review and so yeah that's another thing i'm excited about my husband is so convinced it's a girl but we'll see how that goes we'll see how that as for me like i'm okay with any gender to be fair it's not like he i don't know if he really wants a girl or it's just that he's convinced it's a girl so yeah we'll see how that goes and let me quickly go get ready and leave the house and when i come back i'll let you guys in on how you know everything went so i'll see you guys soon and guys one more thing i just want to show you guys you know how we are looking how the bump is looking um in our 20th week i think my bump is now you know coming out a bit at first i was wondering is my bump really growing at all because i was not seeing any difference but right now what i'm using to monitor the growth of my bump is my navel sort of because um prior to like in my first trimester or even before I got pregnant, my, my navel is like inside. But then right now, I can see it, you know, coming out. Like it's coming out as compared to back then. And I can actually see that my, my, my bump is bumping. So let me show you guys how we're looking like. So yeah, this is how we're looking like at 20 weeks. That's how my bump is looking like. It's not really showing. Like it's really hard to even tell I'm pregnant yeah this is how we're looking like and it's such a cute bump for 20 weeks i think it's it's such a cute bump for five months uh yeah so that's about it tell me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side i would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Hey guys, so I finally had my anomaly scan done and I'm going to brief you guys on how you know everything went and all of that so as anticipated I was not allowed to film um, whilst the scan was going on that's why you didn't see any you know footage of me like in the in the scenographer's room um, during the scan process prior to you know going in for my scan I had actually watched a lot of videos read a lot on you know the 20 weeks um anatomy scan or anomaly scan 
and in most of the videos i watched like a number of people a lot of people actually said the anomaly scan took like a very long while as in the time period but then for mine i i i really didn't spend that much time i think my baby was very very cooperative because aside you know the waiting time when i got to the hospital when i actually entered the scenographer's office it took me probably between 15 to 20 minutes if i'm not exaggerating like i didn't really take that long in that office like everything was so quick like i said i think my baby was very cooperative because from the stories that i had you know seen and then read from other people they had issues with um the positioning of the baby and so it made it difficult for the scenographer to you know do what he's supposed to do or actually see the stuff that he's supposed to see and then for mine i think my baby was you know very cooperative and so everything was like quick i didn't spend that much time in there and the main purpose of an anomaly scan or an anatomy scan is to you know check the development of the baby so like i said earlier on it's had like the anomaly scan is done in your second trimester mostly um in your 20th week so i had mine in my 20th week and i'm filming this like way after like this part of the video i'm filming this months after because yeah but yeah i had it in my 20th week and it's basically to check the development of the baby to see how well the, the baby is developing so it, they check like various organs the heart the brain like other important organs they measure like the i think the arm everything and like they check the face of the baby and all of that and you know prior to the to the scan i was asked to fast i was asked to drink um i think a liter or or one and a half liters of water um 45 minutes prior to the scan so the reason why they ask you to drink water i think they want your bladder to be full so that they can you know do what they want to do so for some people i think the reason why they take like that long probably they their bladder is not full or they've not drank enough water and all of that and i also know for some people if the scenographer is you know finding it difficult to you know take the scan due to the positioning of the baby you might be asked to you know change your position maybe drink some more water or like do something to help you know the baby to position itself in a way that it will be possible for the scenographer to have the scan done however if after all that attempt they still can't take the scan or they still don't have the baby in the position where they can get you know um accurate um videos or measurements of the various parts that they want to see you may be asked to go and then you'll be rescheduled for another day but that doesn't mean that like you know you should be scared or anything it's just that your baby was not in the perfect position for the sonographer to have the job done so that is nothing to 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 worry about i'm not here to scare anybody but then in most cases i know like most anomaly scans actually come out you know positive because i've uh two of my very good friends who have had babies before me like all of them their anomaly scans came out you know really good my like relatives and stuff like that so in most cases um it comes out positive like yeah so it's nothing to worry about maybe it's just because of the positioning of the baby and that's it and another exciting part about the anomaly scan is that you get to know the gender of your baby which is so exciting right so i had my anomaly scan done like months ago i'm filming this months after but yeah when i had my anomaly scan at the time we didn't want to know the gender of the baby yet because we wanted to have a gender review so as soon as i walked into the the scenographer's office i told him i don't want to know the gender of the baby and he was like okay sure but then when it got to the part where he was you know going towards the genital of the baby i just turned away because i didn't even want to look on the screen to have any clue about the gender of the baby so i just turned away and he did what he was supposed to do and after everything was done he just you know wrote the gender of the baby and then sealed it in an envelope for me and after that i sent it to our family friend who was helping us plan our gender review and so yeah that's another exciting thing 
about the anomaly scan you get to find out the gender of your little one and if you don't want to know the gender of the baby as at that time just like I didn't want to know you can just you know inform the sonographer um, prior to um, the scan being taken so that he knows that you don't want to know do you get it so that he doesn't even mistakenly say it to you and so yeah that was it for me everything went so well the only down part was the fact that you know I had to fast so after the scan was done on Saturday, I had my doctor's appointment um, the Tuesday after. So yeah, on that Tuesday, I went to see my doctor. And at the time I went to see my doctor, um, the pictures or the, you know, the scan and then the measurement and everything from the anomaly scan that was done on Saturday by the sonographer had already been, you know, sent to my doctor. So it was already like on my file and everything. And so my doctor, you know, sort of interpreted, inter, what's the word? And so my doctor sort of interpret, why am I not getting this? And so my, <laughs> and so my doctor sort of gave me um, a report on the scan, as in on everything the sonographer had presented to him. And to God be the glory, my anomaly scan was a success, like, you know, a baby developing so well. Um, all organs working functioning like you know everything just the way it's supposed to be like all the measurements and everything and I was so happy leaving the doctor's office that day but then I also couldn't wait to find out the gender of the baby so yeah that's basically how my anomaly scan went and just a few tips if you're going in for your anomaly scan make sure you wear you know comfortable clothing that would you know make it easier for the scan to be done because obviously you have to um, show your your stomach or your tummy for them to you know have the scan done so make sure you wear comfortable clothing ideally a dress or like a skirt I, I prefer to wear dresses or skirts when I'm going for my appointments because mostly when I go for my doctor's appointments as, aside my normally scan on like every appointment my doctor does like a scan in his office that's not necessarily the an anomaly scan but that's just like you know a scan to check progress during every every visit or during every appointment and so i like to wear like dresses or skirts i i really don't like to wear like you know trousers jeans no so yeah, wear comfortable clothing that it will be easier for you to um, have the scan done. And also, um, take like a snack along or something because mostly you've, you've had to fast from like the, the night before and depending on the time you have been booked for the anomaly scan. Fortunately for me, mine was in the morning so I didn't really have to fast for that long. But then yeah, so take like a snack along because you don't know like anything could happen all right guys so this is how my anomaly scan went and like i mentioned earlier on the anomaly scan or the 20 weeks anatomy scan is one of the most important or the biggest scans during like your pregnancy journey and so i thought why not share my experience with you know other expecting mothers or like if you are thinking of you know getting pregnant and all of that this would you know go a long way to help you and i hope you find this video helpful um, if you find it helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have any you know questions relating to pregnancy or the anomaly scan in particular feel free to leave it in the comment section below and i'll do well to respond to them and to all expecting mothers or first time moms to be just like myself or you know wives planning on getting pregnant or any lady out there planning on getting pregnant i wish you guys all the best and you know enjoy this amazing journey because it's so fascinating like it blows my mind so yeah enjoy your journey and let's catch up in the comment section below and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel you know what to do join my amazing youtube family and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Tell me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck